Here we have a case of a 20-year-old Gravida, pregnant with twins at the 20th week of pregnancy. First, we screen to obtain an overview of the fetus. We see the amniotic fluid with a normal range. The placenta is located at the anterior wall. And we find that the fetus is in breech presentation. If you move the ultrasound probe further, we also recognize the section of the umbilical cord. Individual structures of the fetus can be represented very well and can be measured to achieve a correct weight estimation. Let us begin with the measurements. We start with the head measurement. For this reason, we show the head in a cross-sectional view, as an ellipse, and perform the measurement of the biparietal diameter, BPD. By comparing these results with the norm tables, one sees that the measurement is approximately equal to the gestational age. While moving the probe caudally, one will notice the beating heart. It is necessary to measure the abdomen as well, in order to determine a weight estimation. The abdomen is shown in a correct cross-sectional view. Here we measure the anterior-posterior diameter, APD, and the abdominal transverse diameter, ATD. When comparing the values obtained with the survey, we find here norm values again. A fourth parameter is required for a weight estimation too, which is the measurement of a femur. Here in this case, both femurs are shown. However, the measurement of a single femur length, FL, is sufficient. This value is needed for estimating the fetus weight as well. It is equally important, however, to represent all the anatomical structures possible and to investigate any indications of pathologies. If you look closely at the head, one can observe normal brain structures. Moving the probe further caudally, the heart, as already mentioned, is visible. Also the costal arc and spine are depicted. A more caudal image shows a hyperdense structure identifying the gastric bubble in the filled stomach. By moving the probe, you see the liver with the hepatic veins. The section view of the kidney can be seen as well. Moving further caudally, we see another hyperdense structure, the urinary bladder. Below, you can clearly see the child's sex. Here it is a boy. If we move the probe caudally again, we are able to identify a small pathologic structure representing the child's club food. 